Hey, so I just want to give an update on my project using Cursor AI and other AI tools. And this is a, um, a, a placeholder logo SVGs. And this is for an e-commerce app, which I'm currently trying to build for the first time. And as a designer, I just wanted to touch on two points, which is, again, this is a learning opportunity. So which is adding animation um, to your app and also version control, uh, that is Git. So just as an example, I have this running localhost and here's a gallery of logos. You click on one logo, it then takes you to the detail view page, which you can then make a purchase. And it's currently in test mode. So let me go back. We can go back to logo. Now, if you want to improve the experience or just to learn how to do it, you can also add some animation. Now you have to use animation subtly, um, not to overdo it. And there is frame of motion. Um, so this is where I wanted to use Cursor AI just to help with that or using Cursor AI for everything, to be honest. So just to show you what I did is let me just let me just find the question. So can we use frame of motion to transition huh, from the home gallery page to the detail view page? Certainly. So here are the steps. Install frame of motion and then all these all the other steps. First install frame of motion, which is what I did. So all I did, I just went there and then and then copied it into the terminal. And this is using the composer. And the nice thing about composer is it will actually update the code for you. Um, these changes will create a smooth transition. Let's remove. OK, that was the next request. So then I just hit accept and it then updated all the code. Right. However, um, because I felt that this is kind of a feature, I didn't want to um, potentially, if I didn't like it, then it would be, sometimes it can be painful to go back. Um, and this is, this is the same for if you create a feature and something breaks. So this is where version control with Git comes in. And this is what a lot, a lot of modern teams use. And this is what I did use at a previous startup that I worked for. So just as an example, there is another app called Warp. Now it's not coming up for some reason. Here we go. So Warp is terminal, um, but it has AI capabilities. So I just installed this recently and a shout out to Sabrina Romanoff. Um, so she's really good. You want to check out her channel. Uh, so this is where I installed warp and I asked the question because I forgot the command. So um, how can I create a new Git branch for a new feature and what is a good naming convention? So the very first thing you do, if you haven't got into Git um, or if you've installed Git or the very first command from memory is you do Git init um, and then you add a comment and then uh, you commit the the change. Um, but now I wanted to create a new branch and I forgot how to do that. So I just asked the question in in warp and it gave you the answer. So here is the suggestion. So all I did is I just copy that into cursor, which we are going to go back in the terminal. I just changed the feature name. Um, so let me just control C out of this. So let me go to git branch list. So you can see I've got two branches currently on the main and this was the one I created. So I'm going to go to that branch now. Let me just check. I didn't do any changes. Yeah, I didn't do anything here. So git checkout feature slash animation doesn't auto do it for you. But if you're in warp, it probably will. So now I'm in the feature animation branch and this is where I 
I had done the um, the changes that it suggested to add animation. So npm run dev. So we're going to see the change as soon as I enter. Keep an eye on the left. Okay, so that means you probably have to refresh it yourself. So command R. So hopefully you saw that where it it just did the animation on certain elements and I and I have to agree with that. It, it seems okay for now. Now the one thing I didn't anticipate is this. So you, did you see that animation as well? Now is that overkill? Let me know in the comments. But I thought that is a really good way to go to the detail page so you have a bit of context. And if we go back, you can see it's just really smooth. Um, really nice and smooth and that is how I added web animation so if I'm happy with that now I can merge it into the main branch um, so yeah those are two things I wanted to talk about today which is git version control to try new features and adding web animation using cursor AI um, so I think that's amazing um, and then the next steps for this is thinking about performance and images and that is a big topic because you want high quality images but you don't want these files to be huge to download so again I've been chatting with um, the whole AI so you have a chat here Ooh, well, I'm opening so, so many wow something I did wrong there anyway I don't want to ramble on too much um, but I know here it is yeah so the next step or the next video that I'd like to share hopefully is about CDN cloud and airy um, so why and where do you put these images for performance so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and please let me know in the comments what do you think about this and I'll see you in the next video.